world on the diversity of our community. And yet each time we continue to hear about these heinous acts of crime that happen here in our communities and we have to put an end to this. Whether or not it's a hate crime or it's a crime of domestic violence, it has to stop. And we have to work together as a community, we have to work together as human beings to put an end to this. You know, enough is enough. We cannot continue to read about this in the papers. We cannot continue to see our neighbors, our friends, and our families live in this type of abuse in silence anymore. The fact that this has now reached the level of the media's attention, this has been going on for years. And now we have to take action and say enough is enough. We as political leaders have an obligation to defend and protect our community. We will work with the transgender community. We will make sure that we are protecting all of you. You know me and you know our leaders here in our community stand with you. And I promise you that, that we will work with you to say that this will not happen again. That we will make every effort to ensure that this does not occur in our communities anymore. <coughs> And I want, to, I want to tell you that I'm very proud to represent you, but I also am very shameful that people in our community exist here that would do something to that to another human being. And I'm saying this because I've lived in this area my entire life, and I'm very proud of where I come from. But not today. Not today. Stop keeping the trans down. We need jobs. We're, we're not going to keep anybody down, but what we're going to do is we're going to protect our community and we're going to make sure that we can stop these hate, hate crimes that are happening and end the domestic violence that continues to plague our communities, especially communities of color. Thank you very much.